Christ, our Lord, made plain that the gospel of the kingdom will be preached to all nations and then the end will come. He did not say that a gospel will be preached to all nations and then the end will come. And with the end, is talk about the great tribulation and all of that. And that will be followed by his second coming. But before the great tribulation comes and Satan makes his final pathetic attempt to be God, the gospel of the kingdom, whose kingdom, his kingdom. What has happened past 500 years is that many false gospels have been preached. And those false gospels are preached in the name of Christ, but it's not the gospel of Christ because those gospels are meant to keep you away from doing God's will. And God's will is for you to be prosperous, healthy, wealthy, and abundant in the here and now to glorify Him. That is the gospel. And part of the gospel is that God's promise to Abraham is fulfilled through the tribe of Judah all the way till Christ's second coming. So the tribe of Judah is still the chosen tribe which has been scattered throughout the Americas and the rest of the world during the transatlantic slave trade. The tribe of Judah, the real tribe of Judah, I'm not talking about those Ashkenazi Jews there in what we call Israel now. The real tribe of Judah, at least that Nisti is the king out of it, God will use them mightily to bless the world as he promised to Abraham. It doesn't mean that everyone from Judean descent is saved. No, it just means that God will use them despite uh, all that they're going through to bless the world and then the end will come. So the gospel implies that the promise given to Abraham through Abraham's seed, which is a symbol for Christ, will be fulfilled before Satan makes his pathetic attempt. Right now, many are waking up to the real gospel because many people became born again, but they received a false gospel. They believed on Christ, so they became born again, but the good news they received was not really good news. They were told that Christ is this pathetic loser that gave us an example of how we have to become dormant so that we have to go through all the trash during his lifetime and it's after we die that we may get some consolation when we go to heaven. That's not the gospel. The real gospel is God's plan Promise of Abraham will work out to, the, to benefit those that are born again, whether they are, are from Israelite descent or not, doesn't matter. And it will lead to Christ's second coming, in which we will be harvested from the earth and will return back to the earth when the earth is renewed and will be here forever in a glorious state. That gospel will be preached to all nations. That includes the historical facts, historical truths, and that also implies the cloud of testimonies or cloud of witnesses of believers throughout the centuries that overcame. You will have many believers walking in biblical prosperity in the here and now before Christ returns. And it's because many believers are waking up and following God's plan. And it is because the tribe of Judah is waking up also it's because of that that Satan comes with his f fatal, self-defeating attempt to be God. Before that happens, the real God was preached everywhere. So, those pagan Christian ministries talk about, oh, we're all getting the mark of the beast, we're all going to be microchipped, we're going to be raptured, oh, this is going to happen. Those people are obsessed with escapism. They want to escape so much, they even long for doom. They have this urge to escape that, like an addiction, they long for doom, not considering what a doom will do to others. Christ never told us this. Christ told us to occupy till he comes. So whether you are in a great relation or not, you should occupy, so you should be active in the faith, prosperous on the earth till he comes. And while you're prosperous in here and now, the anointing on your life will deal with with the violence that comes against you. Christ never told us to run away and to hide in church buildings till we die or till he has returned. He never said that. But that's the false gospel of pagan Christianity. That's why they're so 
uh, invested in Doom. They are more invested in Doom and the Doomsday than they are invested in you walking by faith in the here and now. So, the gospel of the kingdom will be preached. Because there is only one kingdom. That's the kingdom, the kingdom of God. There's only one kingdom. And that's the kingdom of God. What they call in this world kingdoms, that's nothing but a cheap pyramid scheme. There is no such thing as the kingdom of darkness because Satan has no kingdom. He claims to have one. Demons claim to have a kingdom. They don't. They have a pyramid scheme of violence. That's all they have. So the gospel of the kingdom, that means the gospel of the king, will be preached despite all harassment, despite all violence, to all nations and all languages. And then the final tribulation will come. A tribulation so bad that a tribulation so bad that has never been before on the earth and never will be after again, and then Christ will appear. For you, believer, walk by faith and be at peace.